Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I talked a little bit about doing my last weekly check-in. It was going to be yesterday, um, shortly after this weekly check-in, but there's no spending for this three days. Like I didn't, um, I did not get gas. I didn't go grocery shopping. Um, I didn't do anything. So we're just going to put zeros all the way down there and then jump into December review. So this started out 95, 45, 181.75. Nothing unbudgeted. I'm so excited. Um, 47.18. So these will still remain the same. Seems a little redundant to write it out twice, I know. But I want it to be completed because um, now it is, when you guys are watching this, it'll be January 2nd. And I will have started in my new book. I am thinking about, because this one starts in July. I was thinking about this last night. I was thinking about uncoiling this and um, using the January through June for something else and coiling it together with my budget from January through June so that it can be January to December. Um, I'm still deciding on that, but anyway, so that's at zero. So I will check off the things here. Um, I just moved, there it is, I was going to say, I just moved my calculator. All right, so first thing, let's get the income. There was 23rd through 29th. I think I included that in January's also because that's when I would have been like essentially spending that money. Oh, maybe not though. Mm. Payday on the 31st and the 2nd would have been for the week. Payday on the 31st and the 2nd would have been for, no, 48.25, 115. Okay. Yeah, there was no, there was no pay for this week. So, and that is simply because I did not, didn't go out and, didn't go out and DoorDash or Grubhub. Um, it was Christmas week. I didn't, didn't do anything. 113. Actually, we'll just do, no, because I want it to be separate. Okay, 113.75, 144.81, 117.10, 147.50, 148.50, 149.50, 149.50. Which is way lower than I wanted for the month, but 229.07, 324.50. One fifteen fifty is, which is way higher than I was anticipating for the month. So that is fantastic. So that is fourteen thirty nine thirty eight. Okay, so. All right, so when I did this, I was not like calculating how many hours I was working at McDonald's. I just threw in a number there, which is a bad idea. Um, because for this paycheck, I had not a significant amount of time off, but actually for the 23rd, for pay on the 23rd, that was the 1st through the 15th. And actually, I don't know what days I had off, but I know I was supposed to go back full time November 1st, and that has not happened yet. 
So I know the week of Christmas I had like 19 hours. The week of New Year's I had, actually the week of Christmas I had one day. Um, the week of New Year's I was scheduled like 19 hours. The week after I'm only scheduled like 26 hours. So I definitely need to get more motivated to get out there and DoorDash. Um, because, like, that's not enough. Okay, so I estimated 3000 I brought in, okay, let me just make sure. 7, 12, 77, 559, 87, 423, 27 12 02 so that would be minus 1907 46 so basically I only have eight hundred and four dollars for all of these expenses I know I know that I went over that um but uh, daycare, I did not receive a bill for that yet, so this one is, as of yet, unpaid. They have not told me my amount. She told me my total due for, like, the 1st through the 13th and has not updated me on the total due for the month, so as we go into January, that's still unpaid. Luckily, it's not a $300 bill anymore, so it's it's going to hurt a little bit, but it's not going to hurt so much. And I have been considering um, having like a daycare sinking fund so that I can not necessarily pay for it the whole year, but just so that in times like this, I have the money set aside. So I'm not trying to budget it, budget two, um, two months of daycare into one month. So um, let's just jump in here. And in January, I did switch this. So my fixed expenses are over here and my variable is over here. So I'm not trying to write up against this coil. Oh, hold on. I will be right back. Okay. Sorry. I had to pause. Um, Declan is out eating cereal and milk and went to pick up the bowl to drink the milk and spilled it on his, on himself. So I had to go take care of that. Um, so yes, I did switch these. Um, I think my biggest problem was I was copying how caffeinated Kate had her model photo and was not thinking for months, like at least six months. And I think, um, no, cause in July I used a different kit that wasn't caffeinated Kate. Um, and I think I was just modeling her and I wasn't thinking how much of a pain this was. But for almost the last half of this year, it was just, I don't know why I did that to myself. Okay, so I'm going to fill in groceries. I ended 181.75 over budget. Fuel was 95.45. Um, sinking funds was technically $200 over budget because I didn't put anything in unbudgeted was it's not over or under budget. So I'm just going to put zero because he didn't have any unbudgeted for the month, which yay planner stuff. I have 5272 and I know that I got I'm going to pause this video and check because I know this was for um, my January stuff and I know that I ordered February also. Um, so let me just check that and I will be right back. Okay, so I did check that um, because this was for um, January regular kits and then from the Sarah Marie order that I placed. This one is for February kits. I wanted to get that done because Caffeinated Kate put her shop on vacation. And I know that um, because she's having a baby 
sometime in January. She said she's going to open her shop back up sometime in January. But I know that um, she, like, I love caffeinated Kate stickers, and that's why I, I just kind of suck it up and deal with it. Um, but her shipping turnaround is not the best, and it's not, it's not terrible, actually. I think I just, um, Planner Kate sets high expectations for shipping turnaround, and I am assuming, I am just making the assumption that it's because Planner Kate, I think that is her full-time job, and Caffeinated Kate, I believe, also has a job on top of the Etsy stuff, so... Um, I'm, I try not to let it bug me, um, but like my January stuff shipped really late and that is simply because I ordered it after, like after Black Friday, around Black Friday. And like, I know, I know it's going to be the shipping stuff. I have considered getting a silhouette cutter to buy from her digital shop because I love her kits so much. And I think if I buy from her digital shop, then I can digital download print and cut when I need to, like more on my schedule instead of waiting for shipping. Um, I have really considered that. I just need to make sure that it will outweigh, like that cost will outweigh, or like the benefits will outweigh the cost of the machine. But anyway, so on that tangent, so this is planner stuff that is, um, what, seventy two ninety two. I need to make sure, like it's super easy math. I just cleared that. We're just gonna, mm, okay. Okay, we'll just have to do that math over, it's fine. It's 5272 plus 2020. It's, yeah, 7292 for planner stuff. So we'll do 100 minus that, puts me 2708 under budget. Okay. So I am going to put for December that this is $100 under budget and I will adjust January's to match, but I want to make sure that I can be done with this planner by the end of today. So um, we'll do 400 minus 181.75 is two. 1825 and then 200 minus 9545 is 10455. Um, my fuel budget is at $200. I am not changing that um, for 2020, at least for January. I'm not changing that because I am planning on getting out a lot more to do DoorDash and Grubhub, and that will consume more fuel. Also, we've had a fairly mild winter so far, and I feel like when we have mild winter from like October, November, December, January gets really cold and bitter. And just from my past experience living where I live, and so my heater will be on longer, it'll run like higher, it'll run more. So I just wanted to get that done. I'm going to pause because I have not worked with like an editing software and I want this up with you on time. So I'm going to pause while I add up these, this column and do the quick math and then I will come back in. Okay. That was a lot quicker than I anticipated, but so the actual came in at 721.85 and then, so the difference is going to be five hundred and ninety three dollars seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen yeah that makes sense okay so five ninety three fifteen okay give me just a sec I'm really close to being done okay okay um which is great I needed it to be less because I didn't make as much as I had anticipated but also, if I go like this, so my budgeted expenses were more than my expected income. And that is something that I really need to work on moving forward. Um, I talked about it in my vlog, in one of the Vlogmas videos, 
um, that I signed up for every dollar. My mom downloaded and paid for Financial Peace University from Dave Ramsey. And just to kind of try it out, I've tried out every dollar before, but it was before I started doing this. So it was just overwhelming. Like I can do a budget tool on my phone, but I need, I need this first. So when I input my stuff for January, um, I'm just going to pull that in real super quick. So I input all of this for January and there's white out here because it took me three times to calculate to get this number. And so this plus this puts me $352.84 over my estimated expected income going into the month. And because I just went through and did all this, I did not take my expected income into account. So I just, I really need to step back. Like the, um, for December, I was only $222.46 over my expected income. But that is still outrageous, guys. Like, it's outrageous. So this is $352.84 over budget. If all of these come in at what they have been on average for the last few months, then I will be fine. I will be right on budget. It, like, came out to, like, $24.98 and some change. So I'll be fine with that, but I don't want to, I don't want to keep living like that where it's so close. I want to be this amount under budget and have that go towards more savings or whatever. So I really need to check that. And also if this video is already up, but in February, if I do this, and I know it was hard because when I posted this video, I did not have Spectrum and I didn't have Verizon in, so I couldn't do that math real quick. But if I post and it's looking like this, please let me know because it took me days to catch it. So, yeah, that's that's how we're looking so far. I need to find $350 to cut from my budget. And it might be as simple as cutting out the sinking funds. I have $50 allocated to... Declan, please... Stop. Thank you. I don't have so many pets. Okay. Um, and I have $50 allocated towards my emergency fund, so that one wouldn't suffer. It would be the rest of them um, that are important, but not as important as building up that emergency fund. Um, it could be as simple as cutting down the grocery budget, because as you guys know, I budget $400. I rarely even get to half that amount. So, I mean, like there are way, there are places that I can cut that to make up for it. Um, I have looked into cutting down the phone bill right now. That is not an option without paying more for cancellation fees. So, um, here in the next few months, I can, one of the tablets is due like it's allowed to be upgraded or canceled, I think in March. And that is the one that my niece has. I need to talk to my brother about, um, if how much she uses the data because she has Wi-Fi at home, like they have Wi-Fi at home. So like, I'm going to let them keep the tablet, but if I can cancel that, that'll save me like the 20 or $30 a month for canceling the data plan because it can be connected to Wi-Fi and I know that she doesn't use it very often. Um, Declan's we keep on the wife on the data plan because I've noticed that when we shut the data off and run it on the Wi-Fi, it doesn't work. Like a lot of his apps will not work. And um, so maybe that is something to look into in the future, but also most of his usage on his tablet is like when we're in the car. And so having the data plan is important to us. So we won't cut that down. Um, my phone is almost paid off. So that'll start saving another $30 or something a month. 
And then I need to talk to my mom about cutting down her stuff. If she can, I think her stuff is on payment plans. So maybe it's something that we should look into paying extra on each month to get it down sooner. But anyway, um, so there's my little rant. So we came in extremely under budget, which I needed, but let's just do this quick math here because I've got 1907.46 plus 721.85. So just barely under. So 27.1202 minus that is $82.71 under budget for the whole month. And I would definitely love to see this number a lot higher in the future. So that's, that's how that is going for us right now. Um, December, I did a lot better than I thought considering I am so broke right now um, going into January. Um, I've had to call the the storage company like it's just one guy but I had to call him and explain like kind of what was going on and um, I told him hey on this date I can pay the storage bill if that's fine. He was totally understanding about it so that did not get pulled on the first like it was supposed to um, but all of December's bills got paid except the daycare. So I'm going to have to add that in somewhere. Maybe like um, I put it here, daycare, and then actual put both months together. And then just be over budget there. But I definitely have to figure something out for January. Anyway, so there is December. We are closing out 2019. Um, and starting a new year, um, with new budget goals and everything else. So this book gets put away. Anyway, um, I just wanted to take this time to thank everybody who has supported me and this channel all year. And, um, I am hoping for a great 2020 on this channel. If there is any content I don't post that you would like to see, give me just a sec, that you would like to see, uh, please let me know. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.